Here we have the Hammerley XS pistols. On the table here we have three different versions. We have the Hammerley XS IPSC. We have the sport version with the red grip and we have the pro version with a wooden brown grip. In addition to these we there are also a short version and an expert version and also a long version. To keep it simple because these guns are pretty much the same guns uh, with small variations. We will be talking about the IPSC model today. We'll shoot it a little and uh, where we we will compare it to the other versions where we see fit. Um, today these guns will be replaced I believe by the Walter CSP series the classic, the dynamic and um, also a I believe it's called expert maybe um, but the topic of the day is the Hamley XS. What I like about these guns is that they are easy for a new shooter, a beginner to shoot. It's a light gun, it's an easy gun. Um, I find it has nice weight to it. The, um, the balance of the gun is, is pretty good, I believe, especially on this version because we have quite a weighty barrel here and we also have, there's not too much going on at the rear end by the grip. So this gun in particular has a good balance to it, doesn't bounce too much. When we compare it to these versions, you can see that quite a lot goes on at the rear here. So the balance I find is a little messed up. Um, and I don't know, um, I don't like these ergon with the ergonomic grips as much. I find that with the weight behind uh, at the rear here, um, they tend to flip. They flip at the front. One-handed shooting, it's fine if you don't aren't in a if you're not in a hurry. But if you want to shoot fast, um, the the weight of these guns is just off. So I find that it this has a better weight to it, better balance. These guns, we shoot them a lot, and they seem to work perfectly fine. They don't need a lot of cleaning. They're simple, not a lot going on in the breech area. There's not a lot going on inside the, the action. Uh, we will take them apart uh, later on um, in a breakdown video, a maintenance video, cleaning video. Um, what I also like a lot about this gun is the very nice trigger. You can see now when it breaks, it barely moves. It barely moves at all and the reset very short and barely moves at all makes it very easy to keep this gun uh, hold it still and be able to keep holding it still when the shot is when you break the shot as you can see here at the front there's a dotted side front sight um, this front side has several sides to it and there's this, you can adjust the width of the side depending on which of these fronts you have facing you. I tend to use the smaller one because I like to aim small and hit small uh, but that's if that's your preference that you need the wider one the broader one you can do so. Also the rear side is dotted on the IPSC version. Um, easy to align, easy to shoot if you... Uh, easy to keep on target. Uh, if you compare to the sport version we can see that there is not a white dot at the front. It's just a black a black front sight uh, that you can choose the width of the front sight also on this but there's no, no white dot and also the rear sight has no white dot, so it's, it's just the uh, the black sides. Also, the pro, the same thing, not adjust, uh, not white 
dot so it's a little harder to to be able to fa aim fast on these um, another difference is that this gun came with an additional uh, safety lever I wanted to take it off but what happened is the screw got um, twisted off uh, obviously the safety fell off then so and that's what I wanted so but um, yeah there should be an extended uh, safety on this gun but there is not that is not a feature on the other guns it's only on the IPSC I don't believe that the ex extended extra safety is is um, currently installed on the long version either it's only on the IPSC the IPSC also has this cuts on the front uh, I believe they serve uh, no purpose whatsoever um, but if you see some of the other guns such as the Sport and the Pro they don't have the cuts uh, at the front of the barrel I don't believe the long has that either The gun comes with two 10 round magazines. The gun comes with two 10 round magazines and I believe the magazines are perfectly fine. They are of decent quality. Um, they will wear out over time so if you shoot a lot you will need to, to replace the magazines at some point. Um, the gun will not be able to, to have a perfect hold of it and you can actually just pull the magazine out of the gun. Um, but you can solve that by purchasing new magazines they are not costly at all fairly cheap magazines the guns themselves at least in my country the IPSC costs about eleven twelve hundred dollars and the sport thirteen hundred fourteen and the Pro, about the same, 14, maybe 15, 100 dollars. Um, I believe these are perfect guns for new shooters to learn how to shoot because of the forgiving trigger. Uh, the, pr the weight is also very nice. Um, it can be a light gun, a too light of a gun, if you are um, used to a heavier gun but it is still a very balanced gun I believe these compare or these compete with the Browning the Buckmark series you have the Ruger Mark 3 Mark 4 uh, there are several guns that this gun these guns compete with you also have the new Walter CSP you have Beretta 87 target and you have also the Nowadays, you have the KMR SO2. Um, several guns that these compete, compare with, can be compared with, and compete with, and I believe these are a very viable choice for for that. It's very hard to find a better trigger, a better balance, a better, an easier gun to to maintain and to clean. And so, I really, I really enjoy shooting. Um, the Hammerly XS and I believe you get a, a lot of gun for your money I forgot to mention that the rear sight is adjustable vintage and elevation um, and I, I 
I cannot fault these these sites at all. There will be a maintenance and cleaning video at a later point. That's the Hammerley XS IPSC.